Has anyone ever said, you don't have arms, you can't be a graphic designer? Absolutely not. No one has ever told me I can't be a graphic designer because I follow through with my work by showing them that, you know, uh, using my computer is, I can do it perfectly fine. Jessica, do you actually know what graphic designers do? Um, I know that I've hired a graphic designer, but I don't exactly know what they do, no. You don't, you don't know what they do at all? They okay. design graphics? <laughs> uh, yeah. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but yeah, we, des we design graphics. Um, we work with typography and all kinds of other things. Typography, but... I think I've heard that one once before. Yeah, it's not the map. Oh, not typography with oh. regards to maps. Okay. <laughs> Got it. We have that clear now. Actually, like I had a conversation with my sister about that. She goes, oh, I have to do this typography map. And I'm like, okay, well, I can help you with that. And she goes, no, it's like an actual map with lines on it. And I was like, oh, no, I can't do that. So we're not referring to that then. Okay. No, we're not referring to that. Graphic design is a skill that is learned and taught uh, in school. And sometimes people try to do freelancing on their own and depending on your skill level can turn out really bad. Um, so in today's video, I will be showing Jessica what my design process is, how I make graphic design and see if we can get your creative juices flowing in making a logo. Mm, exciting. Maybe, maybe now you'll, you'll understand like how hard it is to do graphic design. Well, I guess I can appreciate it yeah. more and, and appreciate what you do more. Yes, definitely, because I, I definitely feel like graphic design is one of the underestimated fields in like the, like ever, like in the US. Really? Yeah, because if I charge someone $500 for a logo or higher, they're like, well, I could have done that. I'm like, yeah, but you didn't. And you have to go to schooling to become a graphic designer, right? You can't just like practice on a computer. You can practice on a computer, but um, if you want to get like the recognition of having like a BFA, then you have to go to school. What is a BFA? It's a bachelor's in fine arts. And uh, so it covers photography, graphic design, printmaking, basically all the things that you would need to do in order to be a, a graphic designer, which is really cool because I have my BFA. Uh, I just finished school and graphic design. What that does is I can switch jobs very easily because of that one degree covers a whole field of lots of different stuff. Wow, okay. Yeah, so if I get bored with graphic design, I could be a photographer or I could be a printmaker or a typographer. Does it make it a little more challenging when you're doing all of this with your feet without arms? I'm always curious about that. Uh, it doesn't really make it too hard to to do things with my feet, but I do have like a little bit of adaptations and stuff, but we can definitely go over that when I show you uh, how to create a logo with an iPad. Yay, I'm excited. I know, uh, Jessica's been really excited about using a, an, an iPad with the I pencil and uh, I was doodling on it earlier and she was like, oh my God, now I need one, so. Yeah, I know, because first of all, I didn't know they had an eye pencil. I know they had a stylus, because I have a stylus, but I was like, that looks more like a pencil. And you're like, it's an eye pencil. It is. So when I first started uh, with graphic design, I was not very good at, I mean, any with any field, you're gonna have to practice. And I practiced a lot, but I brought with me today some of the works that I did when I was working on my associate's degree. And looking at it now, like, I'm gonna show you this. This is uh, what my resume looked like. But what do you think of this? I'm looking at that and I think it looks pretty darn sharp. It has a logo, it has this beautiful font. It's very organized so I can read through it clearly. Garbage. Garbage? Garbage. My teachers threw this out. Like once I got into my bachelor's program, they're like, no, you cannot do this. This is, your typeface is too old. Uh, you've got bad, you know, type rags and uh, there's not enough hierarchy in it. So they, they threw it out. Garbage. Even though I think it's perfectly fine, but <laughs> obviously from a graphic designer's perspective, it's not. Which is one of the reasons why we spend so much time working on our graphic design and making things look good. So when uh, you can definitely tell the difference between a good design and a bad design. So I'll definitely show you some of my better designs um, in my portfolio. 
And then, so this one is a brochure that I made for an art institute. And I was actually pretty proud of this one. And I still kind of am, except for none of the images in here are like my own work. They're all pulled off Google. If you get caught in graphic design world pulling images off Google, you're fired. Done. <laughs> Throw it out. Okay. <laughs> Got it. One of the other things about my uh, graphic design journey is that once I, I started and I was terrible, by the end of my uh, getting my BFA, I was able to submit my senior thesis project into a business competition, which is really interesting and exciting for me because um, as a graphic design student submitting to a contest for a business, um, I really didn't think that I was going to get in because they had their own type of, you know, field and criteria, but I won first place at UMSL, uh, for a $15,000 grant to start my own business and make my, my senior thesis project a reality. Really? $15,000? Yeah, it's, I was, I was like, whoa, oh my goodness. So, yeah. I mean, uh, I really feel like uh, being a graphic design student helped in making my business plan and putting my slide deck together because it was so much more prettier than some of the other competition. <laughs> oh, really? Cool. Yeah. So I'm wondering, as a graphic designer, obviously you have to have some kind of modifications for a couple things. Do you use anything that's different than what a hand user who's a graphic designer would use? Actually, the only thing that is different for me is that I use a taller chair at my desk so that oh, I can okay. use my feet. Um, but I still feel like working on the floor is like the most comfortable for me. So when I'm at school, uh, the school was actually pretty nice about buying uh, these really tall, high chairs that I could use um, comfortably with my feet to type and, and use the computers there. But when I'm at home, I just sit on the floor. And there's like no special computer, there's no special mouse. Um, I use uh, Mac products, so I'm used to using the uh, iPad and the, um, dude, what's it called? Mac Pro. Yes, the Mac, the <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to using the, the iPad and the MacBook Pro and, you know, just sitting on the floor at home. I don't know if it would be considered a modification, but for my MacBook Pro, I use sticky keys. Do you know what sticky keys are? Sticky keys. Um. Yeah, that's those are really uh, fun to use. So basically, if you need to use the Shift uh, C or Command C to, to copy and paste or, you know, shortcuts, mm -hmm. you would have to hold them both down at the same time, you know, with your fingers. And yes. sometimes you would have to use like three or four buttons, you know, hold them down mm -hmm. at the same time. But the sticky keys, uh, will actually allow me to press one at a time and it will literally like stick that command down until I'm finished either copying or pasting or uh, using my shortcuts. Got it. So I'll show, I'll show you how to use that in, on your, on yeah, your MacBook. Yeah, so. I make use of that. Yeah. So are you ready to, to see how we can start making your own logo? Yes, I'm excited about my own logo. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna show Jessica how we are going to do her own logo. How does that sound? Let's do it. All right. Okay, so um, let's get started and I'll show you how to use uh, an iPad Pro to make your own logo. So what program are we using to start these designs? Like, what do you use? I like to use uh, my um, Illustrator Draw app which means that once I'm finished drawing something out, then I can immediately import it onto my computer and use my designs on the computer and print them out. So basically you have, you have your pencil and then you can draw whatever it is that you want to do. So I heard that you wanted to do something for your foundation. Um, actually, I was thinking of doing something for uh, the business that I run, my uh -huh. speaking business, and it has to do with a shoe. Okay. <laughs> I know. It's the whole concept is, is to think outside the shoe. What's the name of the company? Let's start there. The company name is Jessica Cox Motivational Services. Okay. Uh, starting off with a shoe, we can draw like a shoe print type. Okay. And now you have a vectorized shoe print. Or you could do like a, a side view of a shoe. 
See, that was my first thought, was a profile shot of the shoe. Uh, that was interesting how you immediately thought of the print, which is cool. So I'm thinking maybe, yeah, there you go, there you go. With the laces really um, kind of drawn out there, I like that. Okay, and then maybe something underneath. So just use your iPad okay. and see like what types of things you can come up with. Let's just, let's just draw some stuff out and see what you come up with. Okay. See how basic I'm talking? <laughs> We're talking laces. And I'm just working like really sketchy. Well, what's cool about this is that if, if you do decide to like design more things and like take the time to like draw some stuff out, when you do take your images to, you could take all of these to a graphic designer and say, this is what I was kind of thinking. This is my concept and then have them refine it even more. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Graphic designing, you know, logo of start, starting somewhere. And here we are. Thank you for the experience. So guys, I want to ask you, what do you think of these logos that we created for Jessica's new uh, company? Uh, leave us a comment below. And if you are interested in watching more videos, definitely hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you get the notifications on when we upload new videos. And we made a video a couple of months ago of us painting. So definitely check that out and we will leave um, a link to it so that you can click on it. Don't forget to go to Patreon. Oh yeah, patreon.com slash toe talks and subscribe to that too to help us produce more because after all in order for us to get together you're in st louis i'm in tucson it costs money to get together so please help us out with more production uh costs to make this possible thank you so much you think you're gonna do more graph design if i have the time yes yeah. it's exciting <laughs> <laughs> thank you well i definitely think that this will uh show like the appreciation of how much work and time we put into to the things that we do it will all right guys talk to you later bye